Yo, what's up? It's been a fat minute since I've cleaned this. You can probably tell. Have some bird poop stains there. Uh, have a lot of dirt on my wheels. A lot of dirt on the body. If I get it at a good angle, you could probably see the dirt on that body. Like, it's not horrible, but dude, I love this thing. And I know how beautiful it is. And having all this dirt, it's, it's way more visible in real life. Honestly, the camera always does... It does me way better than it actually looks. But yeah, I'm trying to... Trying to get it washed right now, so we're gonna see how this $30 Amazon washing kit does. Hopefully it doesn't damage my paint. We got the Jenny. Let's fill this bad boy up. Now we're gonna open this up. That lid right there, I think it's actually sealed, hold on. Yeah, it was sealed. So let's just make sure this is the right one. Uh, it says citrus wash and gloss hypercar wash soap. Okay, yeah. Um, I really hope this doesn't mess up my paint. It sounds kind of fishy, but hey, let's see. It's better than just leaving a bunch of dirt on it, uh, making it easier to get scratched, right? My fingers it literally smells like a lemon cake. And we gotta put this mitt on like a glove. Look at that, look at me, bro. Oh, wow, what the heck? Oh. sponge is not bad it's way better than my other dollar store sponge i noticed that the gel is kind of like thick like it has like a consistency it's like like a gel like honestly like it's pretty thick i hope it doesn't leave any damage on my paint yo why is there a bug tweaking out on my paint bro bro Ugh. sorry bro yeah definitely the sponge is a lot better uh, honestly this is a lease bro so like my next car, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely do more to it. Like if I if I am able to get like a M340 or an M3, something like that, G80, G82, uh, I'm definitely gonna get it PPF'd. Wow, it, it glides so smooth, honestly. This is fire. I rinsed off the first little bit of soap. Yo, it's actually crazy how different the paint looks though. It's like super, super nice right now. I feel like there was like a layer of dirt or like, I don't know if this adds like a shine to it that just makes it way more vibrant, but damn, this is actually fire. Wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi style, you know? Oh wow, there's a lot of dirt back here, dude. This is probably the dirtiest part of the car. I don't even know why, it's the rear. Shouldn't get that dirty. It's not like, you know, I don't know bro i don't get it i don't know why this part of the car gets so dirty but yeah man honestly my dream right now is to just well honestly okay yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm focused on materialistic things which is bad i want to get my mind uh obviously i want to kind of stay focused on the materialistic things just because like to have goals but at the end of the day i want to get a little bit away from the materialistic thoughts because Right now, my biggest goal is to just get closer to God. Uh, you know, not only for my self-worth, but I know it's the right thing to do. Also help others get closer to God. But I also know that he'll provide knowledge for me and discipline, hard work, dedication. You know, maybe we end up getting that M4, M3, you know, whatever I end up going with. I'm extremely grateful for the car that I have. I know it's nice. I know it's really nice. I love my car. But obviously I have goals, you know? Just because I was blessed to get this at a younger age than most can, doesn't mean I should just settle. It's about knowing that you can do better wherever you are in life. Whether you're at the top, if you can do better, you can do better, man. It's not just about doing better than everybody else it's about doing better than what you were doing yesterday the day before you know a month before you can progress that's progress bro that's literally what's the most important so yeah man just looking for slow and steady progress you know asking god for knowledge every single day um and also executing with you know actually meaning what i say with in my prayers to just like it's not just about like asking god hey you know make me smarter or whatever 
you know, God's not just going to just install a bunch of knowledge in your head. Like, it's not just how it happens. You actually have to do the work and, you know, read or do your research, whatever that knowledge requires you to do to gain it, you know? Prayer is one part and seeking God is the other part. You know, you can't just ask and expect to receive all the time. You actually have to invest some time into finding God yourself. He'll give you wisdom. He'll give you strength. But not necessarily in the way that you might think. God doesn't just give you strength by just, you know, flipping a switch and giving you uh, better genetics or better strength mentally or physically. Uh, by giving you hard life experiences that make you tougher and tougher over time. Right, so it's kind of a double whammy because sometimes you might ask for strength and God might let something knock you down for a, a certain time, right? He might let Satan win a battle because he's smarter than him. He knows that you, as long as you have faith, you'll come out the other side stronger than when you entered. You end up getting the strength that you were asking for all along. You may not realize it, but that's what you needed to go through in order to gain the strength. The way that God supplies you with things in your life isn't the way that people traditionally thought that God worked. I mean, maybe it doesn't apply in all scenarios. You know, obviously if you pray for health and you're on your deathbed, you know, he's not gonna kill you and bring you back to life. But, you know, for most things in life, God is not just gonna give it to you in the snap of a fingers like a genie. He's more so gonna give you opportunities to get what you're asking for. God will give you what you need um, and he will bless you uh, in his own timing. He doesn't need you, you need him. Real talk though, guys. What's up with the, the, the Koreans, man? Like, they're making good products. The only thing now they're raising their prices because I feel like they know their worth, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. I feel like they need a little bit more time Till they raise their prices uh for example this car right here i love this car i feel like they could have charged you know maybe 44 45,000 for it brand new uh with like a a small sports pack not this package maybe what i got it for was good i got it for 40 grand flat 41 i think but i feel like maybe they should have waited a another year or two to to really get its brands uh i guess respect up because honestly genesis makes great vehicles uh and you know hyundai and kia reliability has gone up a lot in the last i'd say 10 years even in the last five years i feel like you know you don't hear about all the issues that they've had um anymore really like on the newer engines like from the 20 i think like 2020 2021s uh my turbo is making some weird noises but i don't think it's anything serious i don't think there's any reliability reliability issues this happens to every single car literally just sounds like a uh, boost leak so i'm taking it for maintenance uh tomorrow actually so i guess i can't speak for everyone when i say this car is good but I really do think this car is not problematic at all. Yeah, man, I have about a year left till I can really start thinking of uh, switching up what I got because I about have about a year and a half left on my lease. Bro, I'm not lying. I think this is actually a great product. Like, honestly, the paint looks amazing. Well, car is washed. I'm not sure if I should dry it first and then clean my wheels, or should I clean my wheels and then dry the whole thing? Uh, the thing is, if I don't dry it all right now, I'm gonna get some water spots. So I think I'm gonna dry it and then I'm gonna clean my wheels. And then if I need to dry it again, I'll just dry it again. Bro, look at the difference in colors, bro. Dirty. Damn. All right, boys, now it's time to dry the whole entire car look how different the rims look bro like i don't know if you can really tell but like they're actually black now let's dry this bad boy 
and we'll see how it turns out. Damn guys, honestly, the car looks insane. I have not seen this reflection since probably when I first bought it. Look at that, oh my gosh, look at that paint. Damn, yo, this car looks insane right now. Let me just put you guys on to the, the real 1X camera because the thing is the 0.5X camera kind of messes up the quality. Paint, it actually looks like it just came off the dealer, right? Like, just came off the lot right now. Look at that shine. I literally have not seen that since the day I got the car, holy. So yeah, boys, right now we're gonna use this uh, Diablo wheel cleaner for all wheel types. We're gonna see what it does to my wheels. Obviously my wheels already look kind of like good. They, they all look, they already look not bad, honestly, compared to before. Like you can see the dirt inside there compared to like what I have now on the wheel. Um, it's a lot better than what I had. So it's not bad, but honestly, I would love to finish it off. I had not had um clean wheels like in a long time so let's see how it goes yeah so honestly it just has to spray on the wheels and the tires i already cleaned them so i said to like you know uh i don't really know like how much i'm supposed to all right so let's see what's up honestly the car is looking great um supposedly the degreaser is done in like what three minutes i don't know so let's just rinse this out i don't want to go too hard because i don't want to get the car wet again Honestly, the wheels are looking real clean. All four with a few sprays. I feel like this is a win, guys. I feel like this is a win. The car looks beautiful. Look at the tint. Damn, this is a 20, but it looks so dark. What? Miami skies, bro. Miami skies. Think, bro? bro i just looked back at that video that my brother just got and damn bro it's looking clean honestly for a brand brand new zero miles you can get one for 40k like i don't know how you can complain about that like okay yeah it's a 2.0 255 horsepower but it's faster than 255 horsepower it's kind of like like a 330i where like it's not okay it's not as fast as 330i but there's some cars that are 300 horsepower that are nowhere near as fast as this car i'm not saying it's a super fast but you can have a lot of fun with it and you know honestly this car has a lot of bang for your buck you know you have super nice exterior there's a lot of mod support for it um and if you want to spend four or five grand more you can get the v6 twin turbo uh it's 350 horsepower and it, it's almost like an m340i uh so it's pretty quick it has a lot of support you can tune that up to like i think seven or eight hundred horsepower so but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna see if i can start posting more again uh i i'm in love with cars but you know i can only balance a few businesses at once and you know i can't really upload too so let's see let's see what my work schedule looks like i'm hiring an editor soon you know he's my boy so hopefully i have some more time on my hands i can film some more car content and we can record the journey to get a g82 g80 m3 uh we'll see you guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out